Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was just reading a book. I've always loved to read. But when I was in college, I found that I didn't read anything unless it was assigned to me. I found this very disturbing, and I swore to myself that if I ever got out of there, I would read more books. I finally got out of there, and I stumbled across a list. The NPR Top 100 Science Fiction Slash Fantasy Novels Slash Series of all time. And I made a bet with myself that I could review at least one book from each of these epic series, or just the novel, and turn it into a YouTube show. And this is that YouTube show! And the book I'm starting off with today is Neil Gaiman's American Gods. Gods is the story of a prisoner named Shadow who has just a few days left on his sentence when he receives terrible news that changes his world forever. On the plus side, he gets out a couple days early, but he comes into a world on the outside of prison where he doesn't have anyone that he can trust, and he doesn't have anywhere that feels like home, and then he meets Mr. Wednesday and is thrust into a world of mysticism and magic. So America is the great melting pot, and look who we have here! It's my brother Sam! Uh, America is the great melting pot. What are you wearing? <laughs> Old Spice Man. It's awesome. Here. Oh, no, <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, this show, if you want to be in it, is strictly a uh, black tie affair. Raleigh. Yes, and the way you're dressed right now, I'm ashamed to call you brother. Why is orange tie-dye out? <laughs> Much better. I'm acceptable now? You are acceptable to me. I no longer hate you. Um, so what are we? We are, we are white males, obviously, but like, of what descent? Oh, Irish, uh, Norwegian, and German. Yes. And probably a few other things, but they're less significant. And what do these respective nationalities believe classically? Like, what are their mythologies? Beliefs, mythologies, let's see here. The Irish like lots of leprechauns and uh, fairies and... Yes, uh, they believe in the Lucky Charms fair. That's their chief deity, I'm assuming, right? No. <laughs> and all of his rainbow yes. marshmallows. And the Norse have uh, Thor lots and... Of War gods and Loki, Odin. Their idea of paradise is a, a drink fest. Bahala! It's like the Skippings <laughs> fest in our town. And I don't really know what the Germans believe in, but it's definitely, definitely alcohol. Yeah. Definitely alcohol, and like I suppose that applies to the Norse and the and the Irish as well. But uh, America is the great melting pot. Yes, and we bring with us part of this melting pot thing is that we bring our beliefs with us into the country. And with those beliefs come the gods. And the gods are alive and well in America, according to Neil Gaiman. This is an interesting theory. Yes, and they are actually fed on our belief uh, in them. The, the, the more people believing in them, the stronger they are, and because America's kind of agnostic now, uh, love goddesses have had to become like strippers, war gods have had to become, well, they have to find some way to bust heads anyway. And Trickster gods become con men and trick people out of their money, and which is an interesting kind of connection to make. That since America doesn't really believe in any gods, the gods that people used to believe in have found ways to sort of play off that energy, I suppose. Yes, yeah, Sam has not read this book. We will get him to read some of these books sometimes if he wants to continue to be on this show. I'm not illiterate. We're I'm changing him. Interested. We're putting him in nice clothes and teaching him to read books. If I'm gonna read, can I take these sunglasses off? Yes. Now I'm gonna put them back on and drop a Horatio Kane one-liner. Okay, G give us a one-liner to transition us out of this. It takes literacy to read. Yeah! both a love poem to and a criticism of America, and it touches on issues of theology and philosophy in a ways that most fantasy novels cannot boast. Also, HBO owns the TV rights to this book, and how amazing are you gonna feel when all of your friends are like, 
American Gods is amazing, and you can just be like, yeah, I read the book first. It's definitely worth a read. So, pick up a copy of American Gods, get it today. You know what, this book reviewing thing is kind of new to me, this whole series of Steve Reed's books. I think I need to come up with my own rating system. American, American Gods is a paragon, paragon of epicosity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the buttons around my face. And don't forget to be awesome. And don't stop reading.